Hi guys, it's uh, NMK4 here with the Google Nexus 7 tablet. Now, this is Google's first attempt and entry into the small-sized e-reader market with this 7-inch tablet uh, to be mainly the rival to Amazon's Kindle series of devices as they're focusing on uh, its e-reader capabilities. And let's take a look at what you get out of the box if you're a book reader. Now, straight off uh, at the box, you're, the first thing that you have always access to is uh, the Google Play Store. So if we load up the books application from the Play Store, now you can see in there some of the books that we've already got. Some of them are preloaded that come with the device and some of them we've purchased. So first of all, if we go into the Jungle Book that I've got here, page 10 or so, you can see a red mark there at the top just symbolizing there's a bookmark. Uh, and you can sort of set, as you go from page to page, you can either just tap the corner uh, or kind of of the screen or what you can do is there you go that box marks it and that takes it away um, pretty much what you can do I like the way that it does that really to be fair um, what we're going to do is I'll also show you if the f text isn't to your liking you can sort of increase the size by hitting uh, the A double A's there and then brings up a sub menu underneath here you got the font size here where the the typeface has got a plus and minus symbol next to it and you can see if you tap it enough it'll get pretty big as it does there or tap it down again and it'll get small do it again so it gets a little bit tinier pretty much great and you can change the line height as well so there's more of a gap between the lines as you read if you don't like your text all bunched up together by tapping on the line height sections and now I, I use this quite like the brightness you can either leave it on auto and it becomes as you can see they're very bright or take it off auto and manually set it as you would do on the phone we'll leave it on a very low setting so you can at least see what's on the screen now this is cool on this side uh, you've got theme now theme is currently set to day but if you tap it you can set it to night what that basically does if, if you're a night reader it sets the background to black and the text to white which I think is pretty cool uh, again, tap the screen, double A at the top to bring the submenu in, and you can switch it back as it does there. We'll go back into that menu, and you can also, if you if you want to be that picky, you can change the the font type as well, the way the font looks uh, from there, and also the the way the text is aligned as well. That's looking at the double A and what the submenu options have to offer there. But if we tap it again. Uh, and this is pretty cool if you hit the menu along the top and go to original pages now this is obviously a digital copy of a scanned book but if you hit on the original pages like we did there you'll notice there'll be this is the the scan as they scanned it in at the point of when they digitized everything so as they scanned it in this is exactly what they saw so you can see there's lines there across the pages lines that somebody must have made when this was in the library and you'll have ink blotches in certain places as well you can see lines going through those texts so if we go back at the beginning there even so you can see that line going through there but if you switch it back from the menu to a flowing text which is a digital representation of the scan book you can see there's no lines there it all looks pretty crisp and easy to read hit the menu again about the book just takes you to the the Play Store and gives you information about the book which you can get from the Play Store anyway. Hit the menu again. Keep on device which is pretty cool because obviously you're not always going to have access to a Wi-Fi access point and to have a look at the book because this is going to be on your account on the Google Play Store. So if you hit the, the menu and do um, keep on device what it does is it downloads a book to the tablet so you don't have to have a network connection to read it which is pretty cool obviously I showed you how to do a bookmark on it but you can also go through the menu and add it as well now this is called the read aloud one so if you go to some text it reads the text out to you but not quite so well I'll show you rather than explaining it to you the law of the jungle which never orders anything without a reason forbids every beast to eat man except when he is killing to show his children how to kill and then he must hunt outside the hunting grounds of his pack a tribe the real reason for this is that man See, killing it highlights the text as it later, reads it in yellow the, the camera may not pick that up very well stop reading aloud 
Now, as you heard there, it's fairly robotic and uh, and it's not very human-esque uh, in that sense. The, the pauses between sentences where the commas and the full stops are aren't that great either, but I think that's more of a gimmick, to be fair. Um, if you want something read to you, you might as well buy an audiobook, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Now, if we go to settings from there as well, you can specifically... Uh, change the way uh, the screen rotation and whether or not it downloads over Wi-Fi or not which is pretty cool as well obviously help is that uh, or you can you can go straight into the Play Store by hitting on that and just typing in whatever you need and it will go straight to the Play Store now I want to show you a book that I've got in here that I've downloaded if we go back again brilliant we've got uh, here we go Go the fuck to sleep by Adam Man's back. I think this was just show four pound. I think from uh, the Play Store. Now this is basically a book uh, made for parents who try and put toddlers to sleep. Pretty much, it's quite funny. Um, color book. Nah, uh, let's have a look. Is that there? That was the end of it. Sorry, if we go back that way. And with this, you haven't got any audio uh, read or anything like that. Um, uh, th this is pretty much as it comes. As if you, even if you go to flowing text along the top, the digital representation is pretty much the same because the scanned copy was that good, as you can see there. So you can mess around with the text and whatnot from there, and make that good. But as I said, so this book uh, go to fuck uh, go the fuck to sleep by adam mansback uh, samuel l jackson did a um, audiobook version of this um, because it, he thought it was pretty cool he was approached to do it and he did it so what we'll do uh, we'll also demonstrate some audio audio books on here so uh, you can download a free app called smart audio which manages your audio books uh, so if I load that up, that's already picked up the audiobook that I've got on there by Samuel L. Jackson for the book Go the Fuck to Sleep. Now, with this, what you can do is, if you hit one times, it gives you a speed of how quickly it reads out the book to you. So, we'll just rewind all of it. Play. Samuel L. Jackson on Go the Fuck to Sleep. I was anxious to... Um do the audio read of this book because my agent has twin fast forward a little bit audible inc presents go the fuck to sleep written by adam mansback narrated by samuel l jackson the cats nestle close to their kittens the lambs have laid down with the sheep you're cozy and warm in your bed my dear Please go the fuck to sleep. Fast forward a little bit there. Real, shut the fuck up and sleep. I love Sam Jackson's so Or as those low in the meadows. I like this audiobook. And high on the mountains so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please. And sleep. Just turn the volume down a little bit. Okay, you can see the book's about five and a half minutes long. Uh, and as I said, tapping the speed button at the top, you can change the speed at which he reads. Uh, you can tap uh, the, the characters button and it gives you information from the book who's in there, but it's all done by Sam Jackson. And you can see now we're on four minutes 30. If we hit the bookmark button, because you can bookmark certain sections of audiobooks, uh, this one's bookmarked at one minute 10. So if we hit that, it goes straight to 1 minutes 10 and you can see that it is 115 carrying on or where it was you can refresh the list as well the list of audiobooks that you've got in there or you can fast forward through these controls here as well but the padlock button here all this does is lock out these controls so you can only pause and play but that's a and that's a free application that manages your audiobooks from there and you can you can go to your library uh, of audiobooks that you've got there and change various settings as well like uh, in the interface you could change the playback speed and whatnot you can do it from the menu as well
but we'll come out to that in a second. That was uh, Smart Audio. Again, that's a free application that you can download from the Play Store. We'll just come out of that in a second. A free application that you can download from the Play Store to manage any audiobooks that you want to download. But for kids, because my kids also use this as well, if we go to uh, iStoryBook, just swivel that around. This is a like a a kids storybook. So you've got a bunch of kids stories in there. Uh, my daughter like that one, Cinderella, and it downloads it off the the internet. And it's got audio to it as well. So if we just increase that a little bit, whoop! I think I've just turned it off. Turn the audio up. There you go. You can see it automatically starts playing the text along the screen as well. And as you scroll forward, it skips to the next section as well. From the menus here, you can also change it to various modes where you can remove it from the library, add it to a library. Uh, it's currently on Read to Me where it reads it out loud, but you can change it so it doesn't read to you. We'll add that back on. And it will start playing again in a second. Um, so you can sort of Go to the next page. The stepmother Whoa. was nice there you to go. her daughter. Starting to read again. Not to Cinderella. She gave her old Movie mode. Clothes to wear Just gets it a full screen to be to fair. Eat. So Cinder this is good for kids. One morning, the news made they bought new on the day of the I think that's pretty cool as well. Again, this is a free app you can download from a the Play Store, which was just called iStoryBooks. I think that's pretty good for not paying anything at all, just to keep your kids amused on a 7-inch tab, because obviously they're not always going to be playing games on here, and it's always good to teach them and help read them with technology, because not all kids like to hold a book in their hands because it's quite old school, so giving them a piece of technology makes them a bit more interested and gets them to read more, even with digital books on a, a tablet like this as well. That's been a quick look at reading and ebooks in general on the Google Nexus tablet. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day and we'll see you next time.